Um, but okay. So biggest thing I'm gonna do real quick as people start to filter in, um, we're gonna do a quick mist run on random. Now I say quick because I intricately and specifically spent like three hours after stream learning every one of the fucking mechanics to this game. So that way I could go through it and very quickly just knock it out. So, <sighs> there's one thing I wanted to test on because I wasn't 100% on. Uh, in fact, let me check that real quick while I'm just sitting here fucking yapping. It's not a big deal. Uh, but of course, we're going to do the randomized run. That's how we roll. What's up, Claire? How's it going, buddy? Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. I need to lower that, which I'll do in a minute. I want to do a quick, quick save just to check it before I, we change over and fucking start blasting through it. Um, but yeah, we're gonna quickly we're gonna quickly run through mist on random, which means I can't follow a guide, and I'm going to knock that out, and then we'll move over to uh, I don't know if Kodiak wants to play or not, but if Kodiak jumps on and wants to play, we'll do uh, Lucy of Thieves, do that do that grind. You know, I hadn't even taken my fucking nasal spray yet. Hold on. Okay. What's up, Luca? How's it going, buddy? Hopefully, you're feeling good over there, man. Hopefully, all is well for you, my dude. Okay, and if you load, it's in there. Okay, perfect. Yeah, there'd be no reason that you couldn't do that. Good. What about you? Not bad. Not bad at all, man. Just uh, like I was just commenting, my sleep schedule's a little fucked up, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I don't know what I was gonna do with this fucking cup. I don't know. Fuck it. Who cares. Um, so okay, so as people start to filter in, we're gonna quickly run through this. I'm going to explain all the puzzles, uh, so I might not be able to read all the comments as we go through. There's gonna be a lot of talking. This is gonna be a lot of me explaining the game because I realized that when I went through and beat it, there were a lot of mechanics that, even though they were explained incredibly loosely, you had to figure out how to use that piece of the puzzle to actually make it work. And I, I kind of want to go through and explain all of that for people. Uh, are you playing Warzone today? No. From what I've heard, it's only gotten worse. Uh, from from what I've heard, it's not done any better. Uh, we're probably going to play Sea of Thieves here in a little bit. Uh, well, potentially Sea of Thieves. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, with, with Warzone, it's still just... It's too broken, man. It, it's unfortunate how how broken that is. I watched someone play it earlier, and I was like, this doesn't look fun anymore. This doesn't, yeah, this sucks. <laughs> oh, in fact, I wouldn't want to want to, I wouldn't want to play it right now anyways. Didn't, isn't the, um, I saw something that the basic battle royale modes aren't even turned on right now, right? It's just, uh, the fucking buybacks. Nonsense, man. I'm tired. Yeah, I feel your pain. I'm still in the process of waking up, so I very much feel your pain. <laughs> okay. So this is a new run. I literally started it purely so that I could see if the save would do what I wanted it to do. Because essentially to 100% this game, you can go through and do pretty much just a randomized run to get everything except for one, two achievements. And technically that's not even true. With this run, you can get everything but one achievement, which is the um, the speed run achievement. 
and that's because you have to do that on mist on the regular mode so everything else can be done here and i'm gonna do my best out of memory to go through fucking everything here so okay complete random start from here at the very beginning uh biggest thing oh god that's not even turned on okay need to turn that there we go most important thing to note is the these are randomized as well and when I say that they're randomized, they do what they're supposed to do, but the uh, in Mystic mode, the um, the pattern is always the same. So in the regular mode, you turn them all on, and then you turn off the one at the dock, which gives you the age, which means you're done. You've beat the game. That is how you get the speed run mode. Essentially, I'll have to figure that out too. Hold on. So habitually, I'm just going to turn everything on. So here's where we struggled yesterday. This is this is the part that we didn't grasp. This knob here, um, it actually wants you to point it at which of the patterns you want to go to, which is why you can only lock on to four different locations. We're going to do uh, the mechanical age first. Hear that noise? Now, here's the kicker. Here's how you're supposed to solve the problems. You're supposed to choose which one you want to go to. And we're going to go up to the top of the library. We go into the tower. In the tower, we're going to find our access key. Now, in standard play, this will all be preset. This will all be already determined. In here, it is not. We need to set the clock to 340 and 122 is our pattern. Okay. You're gonna, we're, we're gonna see this tower a lot. I say a lot, you're gonna see it four times. So now, I'm gonna go through. Gotta pull that down. And we need to set this. Uh, the reason that you wanna do. so. Typically, if this is your first time going through it, you want to do the mechanical age first. And I say that because there's a key to a different age in there that you need to go through and you need to figure out. Now, I'm going to explain the puzzle anyways, so it doesn't matter. But for someone who doesn't know, that's the best way to do it. I do it was oh god what was it fucking three two two I could have literally just changed the bottom no it was one two two yeah there we go it was like three two two doesn't sound right okay great Oh, this is going to be a nightmare. <laughs> I already know it. And not even because... Oh, I crushed it last night. And then I'm going to flounder on this one because I'm not even awake yet. <laughs> fine. No, it's fine. We're still going we to get it. Okay. We're going to go into the mechanical age. So, we're going to go through. We're going to pick up all of the... Um, all the red and blue pages. But... We're not going to turn any of them in at any point. At least not until the very, 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 very end. Uh, and there's a reason for that. And in fact, we're going to abuse the save system. Um, and we're going to do that. Okay. So in here, this little rotation simulation simulator is actually what you need to use to figure out um, the noises that they make. So there's a rotation system in this game that you essentially need to, we're just going to do that real fast. Uh, actually, you know what, that's fine. We'll do that in a second. Okay. This puzzle is always the same. You're going to stop it right before. Because it's always going to do that last sliver. Um. The rotation of this is actually what you need to figure out. Uh, again, 
I already have it memorized because unfortunately I bashed my head against a wall to fucking figure it out yesterday. Uh, and I'll explain it as we get into that puzzle. You want to make sure that you hit that little button there and then step out of it. There's a long delay so you don't have to worry too much about it. Um, but it forces it down. So okay. This one also kind of takes advantage of it. So cowbell sound. We are facing the south. Cowbell sound. We're gonna turn that on. We're gonna turn it just a little bit. So you're gonna follow that wheel up at the top. Okay. There we go. You don't want it to make a full circle pass, so you want it to move, move a good way. You can also double check it by okay. exhaust sound. We're in a different pattern. Perfect. You're gonna have to do this on the random run. Especially if you're going to do it the first time through, three times. Technically, four. Because you have to get back to the beginning. But you have to do it this way, because even though those patterns there are the same, the patterns that are going to get put out on the uh, final puzzle are not. Uh, and the, So, yeah. You can kind of look here. So it's on this rotation, and as you move it around, it's going to hit these sections. So line and uh, empty square. Okay. Um, there's one more there that's going to give me the give us the first half, but there's an achievement. I don't know why I went that way. I guess it didn't matter. Uh, there's an achievement that you have to get um, on the third one. And I'll, I'll show it, because again, I'm wanting to do a 100% run through. Well, at least as close to 100% as possible. That way, you can beat this game in one playthrough. And be done with it. Well, technically two. Instead of the three grueling ones that it took me. Okay, we left it on. We rotate around, hold it for a second, and then, just to be sure, blink, which means we're facing north. And again, those are very important, because for the, the one that we really struggled with yesterday, the one that took us like an hour and some change, um, that, is, that is the puzzle. That is the extra piece of the puzzle that, why? <laughs> why would you know or think to do that? It's mind blowing, but it's fine. So once again, same, same, same progression. We're gonna go through. We're gonna look at these. So this is the first two. So we got line, and then square with two triangles. So okay. So we got line, square with two triangles, line, empty square. Got it. I did the stupid thing again, but I guess it doesn't matter because it's on the direct backside anyways, so you can go either path. It doesn't, one's not faster than the other. Who cares? So the reason that I did what I did is because we have to go to this other side anyways. Um, so we grabbed the blue already. That was on the first one. You hit the little blue gem uh, and then it opens up the, the wall panel. You already saw me grab that very quickly, but we saw it. What's up, Off? Nah, you're good, buddy. I am very quickly doing a run through. Okay, spin sounds. We're facing the west. Okay. Very quickly running through this because I wanted to redeem myself for yesterday. You sound tired as shit. I woke up less than an hour ago. <laughs> so, not amazing. Okay, there is nothing on this section, but there's an achievement. There's the skeleton there. Ooh, spoopy. Uh, but that is the achievement. Um, is it even possible to be quick and randomized? Uh, I mean, shit. I feel like we're making great progress. We're already done with with the mechanical age, so we've already got one sections done. <laughs> um. 
it's not... So, the biggest thing with randomized is because you have to solve the mini puzzles to get to the macro puzzles. Um, it, it is definitely going to be slower. But, that doesn't mean that you can't at least be quick on it. Uh, at least we'll get an energy boost later in the stream. Yeah, I mean, you're right. Okay, cool. So we got the cowbell. So we're facing south again. Um, also, I guarantee you, you're going to start seeing a lot of speedruns of the randomized mode. Because it requires so much more skill than just going through and hitting um, the same buttons over and over again. So, apparently this, this game is a very popular game to speedrun. Uh, and I'll be interested to see how people go through and speedrun the randomized version. Uh, I'm more of explaining the mechanics to this because I, like I said, I spent like two or three more hours afterwards just bashing my head against it. We want... at the end. Yes. And you. I grabbed the blue, right? Yeah, I grabbed the blue. Go. Oh. Mechanical age done. <laughs> At least we'll get an energy boost later on in stream. Yeah. It'll happen. It'll happen. But it's it's all good anyways. Honestly, this is how I normally talk when I'm usually not on stream. We'll just turn these in real fast anyways. Uh, when well, we actually do this, we'll rotate. We'll go ahead and knock out the harder part. Ugh, I hate the mouse set setting on this sometimes. Here we go. I'll go ahead and turn that in. So you need to make sure that you put them on the on the page like next to the books, but you don't want to turn in the pages. So once again, rotate the circle around. It's a little finicky on PC for some weird reason. It it sometimes gets very fucked up, which is odd since it's originally a PC game. Uh, 41 volts. Okay. I think that's the same one I had last time. Uh, Y'all got any tips for a runny nose? Uh, not recommend that sometimes I get if I get really if it gets really frustrating I stop drinking until my sinuses dry up. Hmm. Um, I would say I don't have an answer. There's lots of ways that you can do it, but it just depends. If I'm not mistaken. No. Should have been a real easy one. 41, yeah, there it is. Done. And then you have to go through once you've selected it. So each of those buttons has a specific amp. So you'll need to go through and figure out like which one it is. I, I'm not going to show each one. Um, but as it randomizes, um, you go through and you're able to knock that out pretty, pretty easily. There are a few rough patterns. Oh, there's a book I have to read real quick, too. There's a few rough patterns, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, I believe it's this one. Since we're doing... Oh, it's not this one. I can already tell you it's not this one. Uh... There it is. Okay. Alright, so in the stone book is where you get the piano keys. Uh, the piano keys are are what's randomized, not the actual, like, what they stand for. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. That's not that bad of a pattern, to be fair. Um, there's also an achievement for completing this section with one attempt. Now, that doesn't mean you can't go back and forth and verify it manually, but the moment you lift that lever, it is counted as an attempt. Uh, it was, oh God, I think it was, uh, I'll double check that to be sure. D8 pound one, 
This should have been da da. Is F one? And I'll double check the pattern because I'm not in the greatest of mindset. Should have been da da, and then it should have been three four five if I remember correctly. Three pounds two. B pound two. And then it should have been this one or this one. No, I think it was one of these up here. I'll, I'll hit this one just in case. But yeah, I destroyed it yesterday and then I'm fucking floundering with it this time because my brain is just not up to par yet. It's fine though. Thankfully, I know where, like I said, majority of it is. Oh, no, I had it backwards. One, two, three, four, five. So I hit the right buttons. No, I even hit one of the wrong buttons. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. Got it. Da, 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 da. Okay, easy enough. I don't know why I couldn't remember that. Big ol' oops. Yeah, G1, F pound 1. B pound 2, C pound 2, okay. And then when you go through and you do it correctly, Zam Goes through, knocks that out. Uh, and again, the moment you lift that lever is when it dictates the attempt so you can go back and you can read it as many times as you want so if you're uncertain if you don't feel like you got it correct or like i did if you feel like you fucked it up you can very easily just go cool got it nailed it and then then just be done with it okay this is easily the most complicated section very much so uh, the pages in this one are very easy to get a hold of, too. They're out in the open, so nothing difficult. Uh, you need to go through and run. At the very least, turn them on. So the locations of where they're at and what they are is the same every time. So there's nothing that you need to worry about. There's nothing that you need to consider missing. You, again, have to at least push the buttons and activate them. Uh, it's, the, it's the game's way of showing, hey, cool, you read it, you listened, you paid attention it's essentially activating the signal for that so got the broken clock oops the big old, there we go I guess technically you don't have to but you should if I'm not mistaken this panel at the end will light up depending on if they're lit up All right, so that was also the blue so again both pieces already done already got it we Gucci we're gonna light up the last one. Um, I don't know why this light source is here. It doesn't actually seem to do anything that I noticed other than make it not feel so spoopy. So, weird, weird decision for me, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, uh, so again, always the same. You just need to go through and find it. If I recall correctly, it'd be right there. Yep. Um, they're always in the same locations, and these are always in the same places. So it's not a big deal. Very easy to go through and complete. Very, 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 very simple. It's just lining them up. Um, and you want the... There's a little middle piece on the top of the... Um, there we go. Uh, right here, that you need to line it up with the top of the uh, the satellite. You need to do that to be able to actually get it to register. Uh, and the water drop is the only one that's a little confusing because it's hidden in the back. There it is. Once you've got all five lined up, you'll see at the bottom the little wavelength that I'll be trying to point at the screen like an idiot because you can't see that. And then you hit the button at the bottom. 
So on randomized, these do not light up. At least not all of them. It looks like it's random on if they need to be lit or not. So you can actually listen to and watch the panel fl uh, flick through. So we've got wind, ethereal, broken clock, water, lava. Okay. So one more time just to be sure we can get it. We got wind, ethereal, clock, water. Lava. Wind. Ethereal. Clock. Water. Lava. Got it. So. Very easy. Wind. Ethereal. Clock. Water. Lava. Um, there's no achievement that I know that... I'm, I'm pretty positive there wasn't an achievement for one-shotting this one. So it's not a big deal. Or at least this section. Let me rephrase. Um, the trick to this section is you need to complete this next section on randomized without ever messing up. And this is where it's going to go back into what we were discussing earlier. The wind, crystal, clock, water, lava. The so wind is already set, perfect. Wind is incorrect. Um, we need crystal. So, uh, clock. Wind, crystal, clock, water, lava. Hit the red button. Seems like it's fly away. <laughs> you know you got it because you'll hear that. Perfect. We've already got both the, both the pieces, so it's not a big deal. Now this one is the one that we were stumped on yesterday. And I noted this earlier, but... This is the key to it. We're gonna go down. Uh, north is clink. Uh, south is cowbell. Uh, east is exhaust. And west is spin. Now, I highly recommend turning on uh, subtitles for this. Because it makes it much easier than trying to figure it out by listening to the audio. Because, so you can literally just hit escape. It lets me. Oh, you have to exit the puzzle. There we go. Settings, and then in display, there's uh, gameplay context subtitles, which are the ones you want turned on. So now, we're going to hit it. We're not even going to do it. So I know this one is always north, but link sound. Yep, north. So we're going to literally run this puzzle with that information. Because on randomized, every single one of these is different. Spin, we're going to go west. Uh, the pa so the pattern for this is different every time. And that's where the kicker is. Link north. And so this one, you have to go through perfectly without ever backtracking. Because if you backtrack, um, you lose the achievement. Exhaust, we're going to go east. So this is the only one that I felt was incredibly difficult. Because you have to learn a puzzle from a different section of the game. Dust. To then come through and do this puzzle after solving multiple puzzles in between. Like, come on. Cowbell, we're gonna go south. Oh, I should have gone the other way. Big oops. You can really get thrown off on which direction you're facing. Uh, in this area. Especially because as you progress, there are several times where it'll wind and you'll change directions from where you were originally facing. It's rough. Now, Bell, we're going to go south again. Uh, at a certain point, we're going to start hitting multiples. And it's even then, that's random. So it's not a guarantee that you're always going to get some that have multiple directions. Uh, spin sounds, we're going to go west. Uh, when I ran this last time, I think I had two that had multiple. And that was it. It was literally... And when, and when it's multiple 
from what I saw, they'll always do, um, like, the north or south first, and then they'll do the east or the west second. From what I saw, because it's always northwest or southwest, or northeast, southeast. Yeah, see, southwest. Uh, wrong direction again, son of a bitch. Yeah, and the getting, getting thrown around is confusing. So you always need to make sure that you're using this. And you can kind of see the left and the right of the other two uh, surrounding it. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. But, you know. Uh, I believe there are ten. I believe there are ten to this one. If I if I did the math on it right. But I don't know. I'll be honest, I, I wasn't paying attention to it last night. I was just going through and trying to beat it. Uh, spin, clink, so northwest. That also... Uh, completely went went against what I just said a minute ago. So, does not do north south first, uh, and then left right. Sometimes that's randomized too. Which is good to know because last time when I did this last night, uh, it did in fact only do the north or south first, and then the east or the west second. So glad it is not exclusively that. Uh, clink exhaust. So it's gonna be north east. Uh, the way that I remembered it best is the north and south are very easy. Uh, north. The east and the west were the ones that confused me. Um, but I eventually just went, oh, east for exhaust. Duh. And then spin, you can just fucking throw wherever, because you... North is for... North is clink, south is cowbell, east E for exhaust. And then west is spin. So if you're just like, I don't know what to do with this one, yeah, it's, it's there. Nailed it. Uh, exhaust, cowbell, so we're doing southeast. Oh, wrong direction. Son of a bitch. I even saw the S. I'm stupid. <laughs> fine. No, it's fine. And that should be our last one. If I'm not mistaken, you should see a red podium at the end if it's the last one. No, I think I have one more. No, no, we're done. Okay. Perfect. But again, as long as you follow follow that guideline, it's done. It's super easy. So, the one that took us... Like, why did it close the book when I'm clicking on it? Hello? The one that took us so long to complete last night, we blew through. Crushed it. Okay. Um, we're gonna do. We'll do that one. That's fine. Uh, actually, that one I feels too easy. Let's do that one. Yeah, we'll save the easy one for last. Uh, we'll go through. Once again, put the pages on the pedestal. Do not feed it to them yet. We're gonna go through. If I remember correctly, is this the pain in the ass one? I think this is the pain in the ass one. I would recommend for this one, it's always in the same direction and I'm stupid. Take a picture. That's too much information. I'm not gonna remember that. I just won't. Like, if you can, good for you. I won't, picture's been taken. <laughs> this is done and done. Write it down for all I care. It doesn't matter. But um, that large piece of information uh, is going to be used to essentially figure out coordinates and a picture. Let's see. We once again want to close that. In this first building that we passed by but did not look into. We can see the stars. And this is also where we put in that information that we just saw. 8.09 p.m. Uh, 38.02. January 13th. 
doing this will give you an actual configuration here. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me double check what that one is. Uh, if you ever need to make sure, that will always stay there. And then you come into the library and actually look at the ship book. The very end of the ship book gets into constellations. Oh, I feel like it's none of those. It's, is it the snake? Is that what it is? I don't think it was the cross. It's a little tough to read sometimes as far as viewing on here, but you typically should be able to at least see the pattern on it. I think that's the snake. Anywhere 13th, 8.09 p.m. Okay, I'll, we'll come back to that one and just be sure. Because if we can eliminate the others, then we're fine. Uh, the beauty of this as well is these aren't in a specific order. Because it's the pattern that's next to the, um, the pool that's got the sunken ship sitting in it. Oh, you know what? Oh, that's the arrow. I can tell you that right now. Okay, so arrow. Um, they did a good job of actually making the puzzles. Is that 73? Yep, okay. Uh, actually draw out the picture. That's the one cool part. So some of them you'll be able to very quickly pick up on what it is. Some of them you'll still look at and just go, what the fuck am I looking at? And yeah, you can see some of them, some of them do that for some reason, and I don't know why. Well, that's just a garbled mess. Did I fuck this up? Is that why it's a garbled mess? No? Well, I hate that. All right. I've noticed that it does that too. I'm not 100% sure why. August 7th, 73. 7th, 73. Wait. That's the problem. Because PM, it's PM, so it's it's based off of the 24 hour system. Fucking stupid me. Uh, so 8 PM would be 20? Four hours before, four hours before, yeah. It's the eye, okay. That would also explain why I didn't get anything out of this one. So, eye, arrow, arrow to the eye, 38. I also like that it keeps cutting out the audio, which is really funny to me. And. 09. Mm, that should be the snake. If I'm not mistaken, I'll double check that. Da -da. I am pretty positive that's the snake. We'll make sure. You can also, if you want to, brute force it. Um, we have two. Oh, it's the it's the bird. Okay. So arrow the eye and bird. I don't remember the where they're placed. There's the bird. I think arrow is yep. And then the eye is no. I think it's this one. Yeah. Great. Nailed it. Fucking. <laughs> Only reason I remember that is because. Wait. What? Okay. Cool. It raised. Um. Because I turned all of them on at one point. Okay. Oop. Going on in. Um, so that's the hardest puzzle in my opinion. Because there's so there's so many numbers that you have to remember. You also have to note that it is a 24 hour system, which means if it says PM, you have to do above twelve. Okay. 
Uh, we're gonna go... Go this route. I'm gonna grab one, come back and grab the other. So you do the middle one, which will lower these pools. And you want to take the closest one first. You don't have to, it just it makes it easier because technically you don't need to be down here yet for the red. Uh, also, I think it's in the blue, but I'll double check here. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. That's the only thing we need from this at the current second. We'll be back later. We'll be back. It's fine. Not a big deal. Uh, you're going to come back to the same location that you just were. And you're going to do, I believe it's this one. All the way to the right. Which is going to lower. Yeah, this. This is originally filled with water, so you can't you can't just run here and be like, I've got it. You come to the bottom, let all the water out. It'll take just a second. It doesn't really go anywhere though. A little little lackluster in my opinion. But come on, you remade the game and you couldn't couldn't take the time. To, couldn't be bothered to make the physics do the thing it's supposed to do. I mean, come on. It's tragic, man. We're gonna do that one for right now, because I technically don't need anything else to it, even though that's just gonna lower that. I guess technically I could do the middle. Uh, there's a key that's floating, and this is now here, that it was not before. I'll let go of that. And that key is gonna go into there, which is going to give us this. Now we can climb. So we've already got the red. Uh, we've got this panel here, which we're going to very quickly turn around. Great. Uh, now that is not permanent. You do have a certain amount of time to do this. Uh, but you can always come back to it, which is the nice part. So you don't have to worry about, oh god, I have to beat it in that amount of time. No, it's, it's not that complicated. Move this back to the middle. We're also going to take care of something real quick. Oh, is it there again? That doesn't seem right. I don't think that that's correct. I think this is going to dictate for that. Yeah, it is different. Okay. Nope, stop fucking why you do this. Okay. So instead of actually turning it like the other ones, it's left and right. Okay, so 170 degrees is where that's at. Okay. Now, the, the placement is not always different, because in fact, that is always going to light up. Uh, what's different every time is actually... The numbers on the top of that uh, telescope. We'll come back to that in a second. In fact, technically, I could probably do this real fast. Um, and there's that page. Uh, make sure that everyone's turned on. Okay, so that one doesn't teach us anything. The blue seems to be random in this one. No. Wait a minute. Oh, it's here. That's right. On the side. I noticed the last time that the the thing I was looking at was on a different page. Um, the, the, okay. So Cardinal North is there. And we know 170. Each of these, there's 36. So 360 degrees, each one of them is 10. So there's three, there's 36 of them. So all the way over is 18. So it would be this one. Yeah. If the lights stay on, you've got it. If the lights turn off, you did not, and you have to do it again. You have to go back out, go up, turn it back on, and then proceed forward. So we got both of those, and this section is done. Uh, actually, very easy once you know what the fuck's happening. Go back here one more time. Turn it all the way to the left. It's incredibly specific on where you can click. You can't just click on the door. Come down to the bottom, hit the green button. And Shazam. The Shazam! Alright, one more section. One more section. Alright. Um... I was double checking in my head. There's no achievement in that one. 
it's okay. Sorry, again, going through all of this by memory because I went through and beat it all last night, but I wanted to redeem myself. Okay. But once again, same pattern. Again, we're like I said at the beginning, we're gonna see this a lot. Not doing too bad. About 30 minutes. Not bad at all. I'm actually very happy with it. Despite me fucking up a couple times. That was the same direction. 7, 4, 5. Okay. Um. So, you can do it in whatever order you want. You just have to remember to go through and change that little marker to whatever puzzle you want to do. All of those are done. I've already spaced out on it. What was it? Seven, seven, four, five. Two. No, seven, four, five. Okay, cool. Need to use the three numbers to do that. That will ignite. And then turn the wheel. You want it to go all the way. Now, here is where another achievement is as well. So as it's coming up, you can see it's stopping intermittently. It is giving you more than enough time to be able to get in it and ride it. So essentially, th this will go all the way up. That's fine. Can I just take it all the way down and just do it this way instead? No, I don't care. Okay. That's fine. We'll let it ride up. So if you're in it, you just let it keep going. It'll take you all the way to the top. It'll hit a point where it stops moving and you'll get the achievement pop. But we want to go down. So we're going to go in, move it all the way off. And we have to move at least relatively quickly. Not too fast. It doesn't matter. But you got to move quick enough that you can catch it. And then we make it drop all the way to the bottom. Um, this one, in my opinion, is the only one that doesn't seem to have anything randomized in it. At least that I noticed. Uh, and that might just be because there's no real mechanic to this one. So, that's kind of why I saved it for the end. This one is literally the same thing every time. Which is unfortunate. And I could be wrong. It could very well prove me wrong. Maybe the randomized run that I did yesterday just so happened to randomize into the exact same thing. I don't know. Um, I was thinking maybe the 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 thing up at the top, and I'll, I'll show it here in a minute, would randomize, but it didn't. No, it's all the same locations still. Okay, that's fine. So, very, very simple procedure for this one. And you go all the way to the shack at the end, activate the water, and then we're just going to very quickly move through. Turn it on, activate that, and now you can see water running. Hooray! We're running with water. Alright. The levers need to move based off of which direction you want it to go. We need to go to this one first. So that one's active, that one's active. Okay, cool. Oh, okay, that's what's randomized in this one. The levers themselves are randomized. So right there, I had to change one lever. When I ran it last time, I had to change like three of the four. So okay, that's what's randomized. That's not exactly great, because if they're gonna do speed runs on this, that could that could literally save you so much time not having to go through and change it repeatedly. Uh okay, nothing over there doesn't change because the items if I'm not mistaken should be in the same location every time and if I'm not mistaken yeah it's this way no so same path it doesn't change based off of randomization I literally knock this out real fast Oop. we need to just fix that great 
Essentially, you use this first layer as a means to do a huge circle, get back down to then reroute the very beginning. Because this is going to take us higher. Higher and higher. And then we'll go down from there. So that lever activates this door, which would have been closed otherwise. And we wouldn't have been able to go anywhere. I can see this section being very much a uh, precise... Here's how you can get this done in as few as possible. Um, like, I already have a method that I liked. And I don't know, maybe it can be expounded on as people go through and actually do it. But that's fine. Nothing that big. I just went through, played it, and I was like, I actually really enjoyed it once I knew what the hell was going on. But it's one of those games where the learning curve on it is so fucking astronomical that... This is the weirdest roller coaster game I've ever seen. Uh, you should have been a part of it yesterday when the roller coaster was nothing but down. <laughs> uh, it's a puzzle game. Designed to be very difficult. Um, the only reason that we're blowing through it like we are is actually because... Oh, Red's here? Wait a second. No, oh, that, so that randomizes, okay. Because it was, it was originally here last time. Interesting. Uh, go to the garden. And... Okay. So the location of where the vault is changes every time. So that one's the garden. Okay. Um, The reason that we're blowing through it is because I'm doing my best to explain the... Story of it. And essentially all the mechanics to this game. Great. Fuck off. Um, which I went through and painstakingly learned. Great, that one's there. Uh, last night. Okay, this one, to get an achievement, you have to hit all four of them. So, you'll go through, you'll hit one, you'll listen to it, hit another, listen to it, hit another, listen to it, hit another, listen to it. Uh, but the fourth one is the one that you want it to be on. Just to make sure that you can get it. Um, but with that, we are done with this section. Literally just have to go through and get to the end. We got both, uh, both the pages, everything. Um, honestly, there's a really intricate story on the background, but it's from the game's from 1993, so there's so much information that they just didn't put into the game because they wanted the ending scenes to be so crazy. Uh, all of the information is actually not even from like exploring like we've been doing it's actually from um the pages when we turn them in they're gonna give a bunch of, of information uh but i won't turn them in because i've already done it i in fact am only doing this to show it uh that i'm not an ignorant asshole that just says that i don't like a game because i don't like it or because i didn't do very well at it but we're almost done with it um also, a thing to note as well, uh, some of this game is, so I, I noted that the achievements for this game were a little wonky because it's almost treating it as though they want you to play it multiple times or at the very least know all the information. Like it, it feels, it feels redundant because one of the achievements is Go through and beat the game without turning in any of the books, like any of the pages in the books. But to do that, you have to turn in pages in the books to be able to know how to beat the game. So it's like, okay, I see what you're doing here. Good for you. But it's redundant in today's age, because I legitimately looked it up and was like, oh, that's how I solve it. Okay. And... Like, see, I'd love to see people come in and, like, use my video as a walkthrough, as a guide, which would be dope. Because I'm doing everything I can to showcase all of it. I don't think that I've missed any of them, but I could be mistaken. Some of them are just part of it. This is what happens when you let Netflix relaunch Roller Coaster Tycoon? Yeah, no shit. <laughs> okay, so all four of the sections are done. Um, I believe... Okay, we'll turn these pages in. So, here 
once you've put these pages up on the the fireplace i would without question recommend saving and just escape hit save it will make a spot in fact we'll, we'll show it Boop. yep great so now you what you would want to do is you would want to go through and feed the pages to the books and they'll give background information uh, if I remember correctly, it should be this one. And they'll tell you something very important. So we're going to sit here for a second and flip through a page, flip through pages of a book. Um, the page is the same every time, but the, gr the picture on the page is different. I believe it's 154. Uh, the only way you could know what page it's on is by turning in... Oh, God. That's going to be a rough one. Okay. Uh, is by turning in uh, four pages to one of the brothers on the books, and then they go, Great, we need you to do this and get our last page. Fucking whatever. Okay. We've got this in the corner. God, okay. See how well I can retain that. I doubt I will, but you know, we do, we do what we do. Go into the fireplace, boop, turn that down. I've already lost it, I'm almost positive. Yep, I've lost it. All right, cool. I'm just gonna take a picture, fuck it. Thankfully, it stays. Once again, we do picture, that's a clock, that won't help me. Great, thanks. Uh, the last, the last one I did on the randomized run was super easy. It was lines, the whole lines on the top were filled, um, and then it was the letters D and I, which I thought was hilarious. Uh, nope, not that. And oh, was that incorrect? Is it not 154? Or did I fuck it up? Hold on, we'll check one more time. It might be 158. Oh, I think I fucked it up. That was the problem. I don't think it was... I think I got the right page. No? Oh, it must be 158 then. Maybe I fucked that up. I've ruined this! Or is it 156? Let me double check. Uh, it is 158. Yeah, it's that one. I knew it was one of the two. That's fine. Easy enough. So again, same procedure. It's literally always the same place. It's always 158. So you don't need to worry too much about feeding them the books, the pages if you don't want. But again, uh, you do need those for achievements. So you have to go through and make sure that you at least feed them in one of the runs, which is why I said make a save there. That save will let you go through. Yep. There you go. You can get those. Oh. You have you have to fuck it up. Great. Um This is you have to take those last pages. I don't understand why they go above it instead of, you know, the clearly empty spot right here where they belong, but you know, not my call. Um, this is the garden, yeah? Yeah, okay. So you, in each of the randomized runs, you had to have read that second page that we looked at um, to get that, because that is the page that we need uh, to get the good end. So with the save that we set, that I gave and recommended, obviously now you could go through, feed all the pages to it. Uh, technically, you don't need that sixth page to get the ending. You just need the five. The five will let you go through and get the endings for the brothers. Um, even if it doesn't, like I said, that little extra of uh, what we're doing right here will 
take care of it. Boop. Now that we have this, we can literally go through. We go into here. Shazam. Game's done. We have completed it in... God, that was like 45 minutes. Not bad. So great. We're done. Hooray! Hey, Kodiak, do you want to play Sea of Thieves? Because I'm done with this shit.